All right, welcome back to episode 95 of the the Modern Work vlogging series. This is Jag from Modern Work Training and Consulting from Melbourne, Australia. So in the previous episode, we looked at the transformation step of uh, the, um, the three-step process of migrating your Trello, your tasks from Trello to Microsoft Planner. So in the previous step, we looked at how you could actually, you know, uh, clean up the Excel file uh, in order to prepare it for the actual migration. If you haven't watched that step, I highly encourage you to go and watch both step one and step two, and, and then come back and watch this step three of the actual migration process, where we actually are gonna load all the tasks, the cleaned up Excel into Microsoft Planner. All right, so go ahead and do that. But if you already did watch the previous two steps and wanted to know how you're gonna migrate these uh, uh, tasks into Microsoft Planner, stay tuned. So, uh, in order to actually migrate the tasks uh, from, you know, the from CSV file, from the Excel file you have to Microsoft Planner, there is actually no import functionality in Microsoft Planner, unfortunately. So you can't actually the import this Excel file into Microsoft Planner. If there is one, you know, I would be like, you know, be really happy, but uh, and we can get this off very quickly. But there is no. But there is actually a different way of, uh, uh, you know export migrating this fun, uh, data, the, the Trello information into Microsoft Planner. And that's through, guess you, uh, it's through Microsoft Flow. So let's jump onto the computer and actually have a uh, look at how you could do that. All right, so in, in, the, in the previous episode, we've cleaned up this Excel sheet with the list of information from the one of the Trello boards, right, uh, called IT support tickets. So what we'll do now is we've actually, we'll copy this information into, into Microsoft, we'll migrate this information into Microsoft Planner. So for us to do that, what we have to do is, first of all, we need to actually migrate it. I was actually gonna use the, uh, sorry, I'm gonna use the, the actual flow capability inside uh, Microsoft Excel to, you know, push out this information into Microsoft Planner this way, but this particular functionality, the flow capability, the flow add-in for Microsoft Excel is actually in a preview state and it's not working it's as expected. So, so you know, we're not gonna use that straight up. So instead of what we're gonna do, we, we, need to, we have to copy this into SharePoint and then do a SharePoint list and then use, uh, and then run the flow on, on, on top of that list. So. Before we copy the information, we just need to make sure that you know we create that list, and and the list actually uh, you know reflects the structure of our Excel sheet where we have a plan name, task name, action type, created uh, date, bucket name, due date, and task description, and all of these fields uh, are your you know just the single line item type. So these are text fields. All right. So what we'll do, we'll actually uh, go ahead and copy the Excel information first. So we're going to copy the information from the X, the from the CSV file. Copy the file. Now go into open. Uh, use the quick edit functionality to put it in a, a data sheet view that we used to. This is what we used to call it previously. So now copy one of the fields and just. There you have it. So now what it does, it, it actually goes and creates a list items uh, in that. So you could go ahead and uh, exit the quick edit functionality and you have your Excel information in the form of a um, SharePoint list. Now what we need to do is we need to run a, a, a previously built uh, Microsoft Flow on this. Before I run the Flow, I'll actually show you, uh, I'll just quickly walk you through it. So what we have is we're actually triggering the flow manually. We're getting the items from uh, the, the SharePoint list. And for each item, we're gonna actually run uh, a few conditions. What we're gonna do is we're gonna get, a, we're gonna get the item, the initial item. Then we're gonna actually with, remove the action type that we talked about, the create list, create buckets, and so on. So if, if the action item is equal to create list, then we're gonna actually, list is known as bucket in, in, in Microsoft Planner. So there's actually a an action, a flow action to create a, a bucket. So we're gonna actually create the bucket, all right? With the name of the, from the name that's coming in from that particular bucket. We've captured bucket information as well, if you remember. Then, 
uh, once we create we finish creating buckets what we're going to do as a next step is if the action item is create card remove we have two action types create buckets and create cards then for create cards what we need to do is we need to get the list of information a list of existing buckets that we just created and then in, within the bucket we need to go ahead and create the tasks so we're going to actually going to create the task and then also uh, in, in in planner there's an option for you to actually add as part of creating the tasks we, we only can give in the title the start date the end date and so on and as part of the update task details you can only do the descriptions and if, if you notice uh, I did uh, tell you in, in step two that uh, you can't actually bring in the subtasks and you can't bring in the file attachments and these there's uh, there's few things that you can't bring in through this methodology because Microsoft uh, flow doesn't actually the flow actions doesn't support those those entities yet all right so that's a quick uh, view of the actual flow itself if you if you want the flow I've actually packaged it up you could uh, I'll leave a link in the uh, the blog post on the website modernwork.cloud and you can get it from there so now let's go ahead and run this flow so how you how do you run a manual flow what you need to do is go ahead and go to the flow you could actually go and click on run now from here all right let from Microsoft flows from my flows you select an existing flow and you can also run the flow from there as well before we do that we just need to make sure that within the uh, within within the actual IT support team I've actually created a new plan called IT support you have to create make sure that the, the plan ex actually exists first and here you can actually see the plan does exist with without anything you know just an empty plan really okay you can also get to this plan from 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 the uh, from Microsoft Planner app as well. Okay, so what I'll do, I'll quickly go ahead and run the flow for you. Well, yeah, as you can see, the flow is successfully started. Go ahead and see the activity. It's actually you can actually see that uh, it's running. So you just open that. Now you can actually see, uh, you know, uh, which tasks are going through. If you get to the actual uh, the support IT support plan itself, you should start to see the actual creation of the, uh, you know, the buckets and and the actual tasks itself very soon. There you have it. So you can see those tasks are getting created. There you have it. Uh, without me actually doing anything, all the tasks and 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 uh, and the rest of the information is getting updated as well. If you go ahead and open the website down, you can see that you know uh, the start date, the due date, and even the description field has been and uh, has been brought across to. So all of this information from the IT support tickets list, this is an interim list. You can now, once you, after successfully migrating the information into the support uh, Microsoft Planner, you could uh, essentially delete this SharePoint list. There you have it. So that's how you bring information from uh, Trello into Microsoft Planner. You know, there could be other ways, but this is, this is one of the ways that you could actually bring information by uh, exporting, uh, to, uh, exporting the JSON file, converting it into a CSV, uh, using a third-party service and then uh, cleaning up the JSCSV file that we've um, that we looked at in episode 94, and then and then what you do use a Microsoft Flow to bring this information into into initially into SharePoint and then into Microsoft Planner. So uh, that's the entire process. But if you if you I know I haven't actually shown the complete. I didn't build the actual flow uh, in this video. I did a quick walkthrough of it. But if you wanted to get the complete flow, I'll actually leave a link on my website, and you could just uh, go ahead and uh, download the flow template if you want. Uh, actually, no, it's not the flow template. It's the packaged up flow, and then you could actually export it into your own Office 365 environment, and then you know play with it. All right. Uh, thanks for watching. Hope uh, this helps you to bring your information from Trello into Microsoft, Microsoft Planner. My name is Jag Kakalapuri from Modern Work Training and Consulting here in Melbourne, Australia.